All right, welcome everybody to Cairo Author Insights. We are with the legendary Dr. Patrick Porter. Welcome, Patrick. It's great to have you here. Well, it's nice to be here, Dr. Marcus. Phenomenal. And you know, for those who are not familiar with the incredible work that this man has done for healthcare, not only chiropractic, but we're going to talk through the lens of chiropractic today. He's an award-winning author, speaker, and the founder of Brain Tap. And we we will jump into the conversation with our, our Brain Tap. Brain Tap Technologies in a moment, but we are going to talk books even before that. He pioneered the use of a brain wave entertainment to improve clarity, sleep, and energy. Uh, it also enhances healing and nervous system regulation, and it remains at the forefront of scientific research for the innovations of nervous system health and well-being. Brain Tap offers over 1,000 original audio sessions in 12 languages and serves the world um, wide user base with its mobile app and headset. Porter has been featured in the Wall Street Journal, People, Entrepreneur, Inc., and on ABC, NBC, CBS, everywhere and anywhere because he is an expert in brain health and wellness. Wellness and people reach out to gain insights to the brain, to healing and health through this incredible man. And in 2020, Dr. Porter received the IAFNR Lifetime Achievement Award. He is a rock star and <laughs> Not only that, we are going to talk books today. All right. But we're going to talk about some of these in a moment because before we get into the conversation, I felt a little time. I, I want to tell a story. Sorry, Patrick, we're going to get into the conversation, but I think this story is too important. Mm -hmm. Yes. Some time ago, as I'm doing, you know, I, I'm a neuroscience based chiropractor and I have some great neuroscience chiropractor friends. We've done summits and they said, Have, have you interviewed? You, you know, interviewed this guy, Patrick Porter. He's like, he's got some great tech, he's amazing research, he's worked with some of the greatest chiropractors. He's in chiropractic neuroscience offices. And I was really naive about this. And I went, better do some research. I got an introduction. I'm like, oh my gosh, boom, this is incredible. How have I missed this learning, this opportunity? And reached out. And despite being one of the crazy busy people in the world with the amount that he does, the service, that he does for humanity. He said, yes, I'd love to speak. I'd love to present on one of our summits. And he joined the Paint to Brain Neuroscience of Chiropractic Summit. I was blown away with his authority, his knowledge. And then I started to read his books. You know, if you're a brain-based chiropractor, brain balance, I'm like, gee, we're, we're getting some, you know, how to create a better life by reclaiming your brain. Does that sound very chiropractic? And then we're like, hmm, you're flourishing in practice. Well, you've got to know how to use your brain to create the healing you want. And then you, um, you've got to, you know, awaken the flourishing brain. So you can see here immediately, we've got an entire catalog of neuroscience content information and information. Awaken your genius. I got, there's more books that he has, by the way. He is an absolute rock star. But I got so excited. So I wanted to share the information about these books, his journey with you, because if you are a chiropractor, that understands the role of the nervous system, its impact on health and healing. These books are a beautiful catalog of information to consolidate that learning, to reinforce your, your belief, your certainty, and your confidence and give you direction. And that is why I'm going to open up the conversation. It was a long intro. I apologize for that. Patrick's waiting there saying, holy doodle, this is the longest one I've ever had. Is he ever going to stop speaking? And I am. Patrick, I'd just love you to just respond now to think, What's it like having invested your whole life in brain science, brain technology, and being so impactful in the world and in chiropractic as well? Well, to me, it's an exciting extension. I feel like I'm still uh, a teenager, you know, getting up every morning. I get to do what I love to do, and I get to play. Uh, when we first started, we didn't know we affected the brain because the mind and the brain were separate, right? People didn't think about those two. So we were talking about training the brain or training the mind with Silva. So, I mean, I, I'm just so excited. And it always amazes me. Like when they gave me that lifetime achievement award, I was like, I should be older. Right. But I guess I am older now, but I don't feel like I, I'm, I'm older. And I think that to me, I just do this because when, when you help somebody or you help a doctor who's helping other doctors to me, when I can touch people the way that brain tap can do it and you know, I can't do it on my own. I need, it, it takes, it takes more than a village. It, it takes a world to heal this planet. So uh, I think chiropractic is one of the best places. I'm just blessed that I get to wake up and work with such great doctors every day. 
Hey, you just spoke about healing the world. And I think what's what I really want to highlight there is as we go into this conversation, we have the potential to heal the world. We have the technology. We have the skill sets. We actually have the philosophy and the neuroscience to understand the impact that we can have through nervous system-based techniques of healing and repair. And when we take ownership of that truth, our impact can be profound. So let's talk about some of the impact that you've seen. Firstly, we won't come, I'm going to just jump out of the book for a moment when we will talk brain tap on that point here because uh, brain tap technology, have a conversation with everybody a little bit about what that is and why that is so profound and powerful and the impact that we're seeing through that. Well, I think the main thing is now we know why they were doing certain things in ancient traditions. And because modern technology, we can simplify it. You don't have to go for years or visit the medicine man of the tribe. You can actually put it on your own office, your own home. And, and since, you know, before the 80s, we didn't know that light therapy, we, we had a sense of that, uh, but we didn't know how widespread it would be. I mean, the LEDs used to be so expensive, we couldn't even use them. And then when that started coming out, People now know there's probably not a doctor who will watch this doesn't know about lasers or low level light therapy, but they don't know that you could use it to tune up the brain and in turn run energy through the nervous system. So if you can imagine, it's just like a, a race car driver aligning the front wheels, but never driving it. Now we align the front wheels. Now we can put some real fuel in the tank. Let's get it out there and see how it rides. And that's really what we're talking about is, uh, you know, getting the physiology and the psychology matched up in that powerful one-two punch. I don't know of anything better. We, we've not seen in, in my 30 years anything better than that combination. You can add other things as well, but th that's the combination because if the hardware is right, we can get the software right, get them on a proper diet. We're going to have some, and you know, that in turn, that will get them sleeping, moving, breathing, all the things that are talking about health. I think people are realizing, and for me, chiropractors just need to change just a little bit. Like, you know, uh, Dr. Barwell and I, we get to travel for, you know, over 12 years together. And, um, you know, our message was very much the same. That's why we, we love touring together. And just shifting from when somebody says, what do you do? Don't say you're a chiropractor, say I'm a functional neurologist, you know, because that's what you are. You're, you're basically, I don't know of even the neurologists that I meet that are MDs and DOs and things that are in functional medicine. They don't know what the chiropractors know. And it's amazing to me that they'll still revert back to a chemical solution when we know it's a, it's a biological situation. So, you know, to me, chiropractors, it's going to, there's not enough chiropractors. I can tell you that right now. When I go to Brazil, zero chiropractors, pretty much. When I go to India, zero chiropractors. And this is in, in you know, in China, there isn't. So that means chiropractic right now is only serving less than 5% of the world's population. So in, in the others just don't even know about it. Like, uh, you know, when I'm in a place like India and I see, they go, what do you do? I go, well, first I'd have a, a, just a chiropractor adjust it. Then they would, do, they go, what's a chiropractor? I'm going, you don't have a chiropractor here. When I was first there and they told me that, you know, 10 years ago, I'm like, are you crazy? I think there's a big opportunity for chiropractic to grow, even in our own hometown. You know, there's just, everybody should be using a chiropractor to tune up their brain. Yeah. I mean, you're preaching and converted with this audience. However, when you say that, what it should do is awaken people to say, we've got more to do. There is more impact we can have. There is more outreach we, we, we are, that is needed from us. There is greater service that is still required. And when you're equipped to do that, your ability to perform in those areas, you know, is increased. And, and again, coming into that level, that's why I'm going to grab this book again. I know, um, you know, when, when you have the authority, you know, and I, you, know, you, you read Brain Balance and you know, how to create a better life by reducing your brain, um, re, sorry, rebalancing your brain. When you start to know and understand the neuroscience, and that's why reading your books, and, and again, you, you do those with Bob Hoffman, you know, he's a legend with our profession, and, you know, we have, a, I still have it over here as well, you know, it's, it's, it's you, you did the forward for um, why you get sick and how your brain can fix it, which is a chiropractic neuroscience book, so, in, and in the back of Rich Bale's book, we've got all of these things here, which is all about brain yeah. tap, because we know the significance of brain tap and balancing the well, balancing the parasympathetic and sympathetic process. So if you don't know and understand the neuroscience, you can't confidently communicate the chiropractic message. And so reading books by incredible authors in the area of neuroscience 
It gives you the knowledge, the skills, the ability. It allows you to confidently then start accessing technology and resources to have the impact that you're after. So that's what I did. Wow, I'm so excited to, to have you on you know, in this conversation and part of this um, series of interviews because of its importance. So let's talk about those books for a moment. You, you wrote a whole, <laughs> an epic catalogue of books. And what was your purpose for writing those books and being, you know, you've, you've, you, you're a researcher, you're in technology, and now you're an author. So talk about the writing of those books and their purpose. I, yeah. I always think in terms of, uh, I'm, I'm a real positive person, but every once in a while I have these dark moments. I'll say, what would happen if I knew nothing? What would I, what would I need? How would I summarize all my knowledge? And when I wrote Awaken the Genius, I was actually writing a program for DUIs for the state of Arizona. And when I had to hire, I had to train and motivate the masters and and PhD level people to give these courses if people got DUIs and they weren't getting it. And so I I put a course together to teach them a little NLP so they would understand how to present that during their presentations. And then my wife who was there watching said, you know what, we should put that into a book. And I said, that sounds like a good idea. And the guy that was sitting with us, his name was Jerry DeShazer, became a really close friend of mine. At the time, I hardly knew him. He said, I tell you what, if you write it, I'll publish it. So I took out a napkin and I wrote a little contract on it. He signed it. Three months later, we delivered him the book and he published it. So uh, he had a publishing company called Pure Light Publishing. So the most of the other books like were kind of stems from that. I Because I teach at Quantum University, I took the, all the material I used in, in my clinic. There's one that I have called Discover the Language of the Mind. And what most people un, don't understand is how our brain processes information through our mind, through our perception, is much different than we might consciously think. Like, we don't process a negative. Those are some of the simpler things. But I taught a strategy of my combination of all the work I did within meditation, biofeedback, neurofeedback now, uh, NLP, hypnosis, all of the different therapies that you learn as a a psychologist. And I said, I want to make this so that anybody could use this. So I actually put scripts in there. I basically gave away the secret sauce and said, here, everybody use it. And then after that, I people just started saying, hey, you know, once you write a book in the 90s, and this was in the first two books I wrote in 94, 95, they start going, hey, when are you going to write another book? So now we're putting our research together and doing it. Now, the one book that you held up, the Balance Your Brain book, what one of my goals with all of our doctors is they don't know how to explain it. So I co-wrote that. I give every one of our doctors an opportunity to co-write with, with Bob and I, and they can kind of co-op our story but we help them tell their story. Cause I think every person needs to have a book. There's a book within everybody. Like you have books on, on Amazon. Everybody should have books that uh, to tell their story. Your story is different. Don't worry if it's so profound, it's profound for you and the people you're meeting. So I wanted to give people that opportunity. And with Bob, when I first uh, was with uh, Dr. Barwell, when she wrote his own book, so he wasn't included in our book. He should have been there. He, he, he contributed just as much as everybody else because his wisdom and and what he had done over the years. So he went and did how we get sick and how to fix it. And then Bob and I wrote, went off and wrote the Your Flourishing Practice because Bob has access to doctors. And we wanted to find out, hey, if we did this with 40 clinics, what would the result be? So we tell that story and and we basically, again, give it all away. People can do it on their own if they get that book because I think that right now, I, I believe as a fact, chiropractors are underutilizing their education because, of, and I say that because they might only want to work three days a week, which I, I applaud them. That's great if you can do it, but your office could be available another three days doing other things, yeah. making you the authority in your market. So that's what we talk about in your flourishing practice, because you have this unused space, you're already paying rent for it empower your staff to start things like brain tap uh, to start things like the massage chairs maybe um, some kind of physical exercise there's a lot of things we we give examples of and i i think just like medical doctors mds have medical spas we should have more chiro spas where people come in and they do all the different therapies and we you know more like a biohacking spa because when i go to a biohacking conference i tell people who have never been to a chiropractic conference they go oh this is cool i go this looks just like the national down in Florida. I mean, you got all the newest equipment. You've got people who tested it. Chiropractors are the world's best group of guinea pigs because they always try everything on themselves. They don't. They don't just run. They don't just let a drug rep convince them to do something. Most of them that I know say, 
hey, I love your technology, but I got to use it for myself. I don't care what science you have. And so they, I think that's great. And you need to tell those stories. And I, I guarantee you, you, if anything else, you're going to elevate your practice to a point where people understand. And we wouldn't lose 90% of those people trying chiropractic out because you you know more, and I'm talking just to any chiropractor out there, you know more than you think you know about a lot of different things. You don't have to be the expert at them. You're a business owner. You should do what you love to do. And if that's to adjust, then you should be doing that. But leveraging that doctorate so that you have a real healing community around you. Wow. All right. My brain has just exploded with 100,000 ideas or probably hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of value in ideas. All of my, Dr. Patrick, you're going to have to bear with me for a moment because this is going to be a little bit eclectic. All of my other interviews, you have a conversation, you, you share a message, and we, we love sharing that message. I'm going to actually edit this video. For those watching, at the end of this, I am going to give a tour of brain tap and how I use it in my um, zero gravity um, spinal um, massage chair because that's what we're talking about what you've just used there the example is having a neuro spa a a biohacking um, spa I love that idea and I'm not even using it to the full extent we use the brain tap we use the zero gravity massage chair and I actually work three days a week and I fundraise three days a week for the profession so even on the days that I'm not here you have just highlighted I write another book, a training book on what it is that I do, why I do it, how brain tap is a neuroscience-based approach for care. I get my tech CA working with the patients to do their neurological development programs. So the three days that I'm there, I'm, I'm there, I'm impacting lives, I'm adjusting, boom, loving it. I'm always really focused when I'm in practice, but now I can leverage my knowledge, my skills, my ability, the resources of my practice, the technology that I have. And then also, as you said, by I already have some um, amazing best-selling books that have done a wonderful job, but I can then introduce that um, new tech, new paradigm that I operate from into a book and leverage that expertise data even more and grow the practice independently of me. So that's why these conversations are so valuable. And I'm going to, I don't know whether I'm going to get in trouble for this. And if I have to edit it, edit it out, I will. I'm sure, Dr. Porter, if you want to grab a headset and you want to create a health spa, a neuro spa, a biohacking spa, he'll, he'll respond to you and he'll say, here's, here's how to get the headset. Here's how to put it into practice. Tell me, Dr. Porter, am I wrong in asking that of you right now? Right. Yeah. We're here to help and, and raise the profession and, you know, my, my claim to fame with my friends was that I owned seven clinics and I didn't even go into three of them the whole time I owned it because, you know, and they just used my name and, you know, I had a radio show. So they were leveraging that in, in the community I lived in, in, in Virginia beach. So they're, you know, you, a lot of people, you know, don't get hung up on you having to do the work is the main thing. We're here to serve humanity. So whatever way we can, of course, uh, we can't replace the adjustment, but we have to, what, what are all the satellites that can be around the mothership called chiropractic? You know, that's the, that's the key thing here. I love that. And uh, as, as we come to, to wrap this up, the other thing you can, you can do is because you've got a, a brain tap catalog, um, which you know, talks about all of the different programs you can use to, to have the impact that you want when you have the brain tap. So again, you, you know, We'll show you in a video that's just such great technology. It's impact to restore nervous system integrity. So in alignment with the chiropractic principle. Um, and you're right, it's, a, it's those satellites around what we do. And as, as, we, as we bring this together, you've got the technology. You can learn very effortlessly how to implement and apply this in your practice. Um, there's videos on YouTube of you, you know, the unpacking of the brain tap. So there's so much available information to effortlessly implement brain-based chiropractic and its adjuncts into practice and then leverage that in a in powerful way. So to close, you said earlier on, um, I think that's, you know, every chiropractor has a book in them. I'd love you to talk to that um, principal. So if the chiropractor says, all right, I can see myself getting into a neuroscience-based practice or I already have my brain tap and I haven't leveraged it fully, 
how what would you say to them about writing a book how how could they in, write a book if they've never written a book before or if they think they're a complete dyslexic and it's just not possible they're not that smart in that way and then what would they do with the book to be yeah. able to leverage brain tap okay so the key to writing a book is to keep it simple don't try to do it all at one time what i i know is that chiropractors tell their story all day long verbally right? So don't sit down to do it because you don't work sitting down. That's number one, you you work standing up. And we always know when we're doing the neuro neuro feedback on the doctors when they're sitting too long, because the brain, their brain's not used to that. It's used to moving and breathing. So uh, what I would say is make a list of the top thing, top 10 things you tell your patients all week long. What are your top motivators? What are you, what are you really passionate about? Just write those down as questions because the brain works best with questions. Don't try to answer them right now. You're just making a list of the top 10 concepts. And then what you do is you go in after that and you say, what are the top five to 10 questions I get asked about that topic? Just write those down. Once you have that 10 thing, that that's 10, what we would call content, write the uh, table of contents, right? You're, you're doing the chapters, the 10 chapters, and now you have the five to 10 subheads and they're all questions because this is the best way to do it. Now you go for a walk with your recorder, with your phone, and you ask yourself the question and you talk about it. Yep. You just verbally talk about it. Now, then you can use things like Otter AI, which is an app, you can do it, or you can send it off to like uh, somebody to transcribe it. But there are people out there like on, um, if they need help, they're in the area, I can help them. But I found people who are what they call ghost writers. But what, since you already have most of it out, they're going to take that book and they're going to make it into the book you want it to be. And that person will come back and say, you know what? You need a story here. I always like to start, when you read my books, my books are all written with a whole brain format. So I'm telling a story. So I get them emotionally charged with that piece of information. And then I'm going to back it up with logic on the back end. And then I'm going to summarize it before I'm done. But a, a good book writer will do that. Now, once you have those 10 chapters, now you can go ahead and do the... Uh, you can do your intro chapter because you can say, hey, in chapter two, I'm going to tell you this. Chapter five, I'm going to do this. You do your intro chapter. And then you do your, what I tell people to do, if it's a self-help book, which is what we're talking about, is put a 21-day plan on the end of the book. And just like send the one that you have there, the one your flourishing brain, there's a 21-day plan in the back of it. So do that. And then once you get it back, pick out, we all have those friends that are always finding out what's like if there's a mistake on the menu or if somebody did on the chalkboard at a restaurant they can't they can't even sleep until they get up and change the spelling because something's spelled wrong you know those in my wife's one of them so i love those kind of people but they can be really nitpicky you want them to read it because when you read it again you won't see the errors sure and, uh, you know, there's that email that was going around that had all the words scrambled up. And depending upon how fast you could read it was how intelligent you were, where we, our brain is just so quick at assembling things. So if you give it to other people and what I did, if you look at the in the inside cover of Awaken the Genius there, you'll see there's about 30 people, I think, at the beginning of the book. Those were my 30 test readers because we gave it to them. I didn't have two or three people reading it at a time. I gave it to one person, said, read it. And then they'd make their little comments and they said, I don't understand. I, what I asked for was number one, does it make sense? Now there's a saying in writing, write for Miss O'Grady because the Colonel's lady won't mind. And what that means is, you know, thinking that the Colonel's lady is educated, highbrow, Miss O'Grady is just a normal everyday person. But even better than that, they say, write for a fifth grader. So if you can, if you have to, and, and I get in trouble for this because you always try to bring in neuroscience terms and then you got to explain them. And, you know, you, when my editors bring back my material, they're like, my book, Awaken the Genius there, they got the award. That was actually a transcript of a four day webinar. I mean, four day seminar I did in Phoenix, Arizona. That was the whole basis of that. And we took that seminar, we compressed it into a 230 page book. So, I mean, you can even do that if you, some of the people do better when they're presenting in front of people. So I say, take those 10 comments, make it into a slideshow presentation, do it in 10 separate nights in front of your people in your, in your community, offer it for free, take that and record it. Now you've got it. And you'll also be able to get the questions afterwards. So there's a couple of different ways. 
And you'll find that once you see that book, what I used to do for my franchisees was we'd, we'd write a book together and I would send them the, even though it wasn't done, it was the preview copy, but I had it bound for them so they could really feel it and taste it. So some people, what you might want to do, if you really want to write a book is think of the cover, mock up one of your books you don't like in your, in your library now and make that your book cover. So you look at, you see your book and start visualizing that being done. Cause it is a big job, but one in, in writing is editing. Don't think you're going to come out with it right the first time. If you saw my first edits of, uh, you know, how we talk in a seminar is very different than how you write. So, I mean, it didn't even make sense when I was there because it didn't have all the nonverbal cues and everything else that goes along with a live presentation. So, you know, just be willing, as, as Richard Bandler said, the founder of NLP said, be, you know, be willing to be wrong to get it right. You know, so many people are, they want to get it right so they won't get it wrong, but that's not the way our brain works. We we can do a lot of mistakes and still get it right because nobody has to see that book until you cut it loose and get it out to the public. That is sage bias. That's beautiful points. I love it. But Paul, it's always exciting to speak with you. Your message is always profound, powerful. I love it. Your books are incredible. The brain tap technology, revolutionary. You have, without Again, being a chiropractor, you're a PhD. You, uh, you know, I give you an honorary chiropractor degree because you serve <laughs> our profession so profoundly. You, you know, you love what we love, so we love you and we appreciate you for that. Um, everyone, don't drop drop off this video because I'm going to go give you. I'm going to edit this. I'm going to go give you a tour of the way I implement it, and you can reach out if you've got any questions because we want to change the world through chiropractic. And brain-based chiropractic is made better through brain tap technologies. Dr. Porter, I appreciate you. Appreciate your message. Appreciate you coming on here, everyone. Stay tuned. Watch your video, Dr. Porter. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. We've just finished that interview with Dr. Porter. And as you know, uh, we spoke a lot about the brain tap technology. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you for just a little mini tour if you like of what i do with my brain tap how we utilize it here within our practice and some of the uh, incredible benefits that it provides so i'm going to take my brain tap the carry case that goes with it really important that you keep that in there because you want to protect this wonderful technology this wonderful asset so come with me and let's go have a look at what i do okay so the first thing is one here i am in a big mega uh, specialized massage chair and what we can do is, I mean, it's got a foot rest, it's got a back rest, it's got a stretching technique, um, it's got an, an inversion, uh, zero gravity process. So we have the opportunity where we can put people in the massage chair where they're getting a spinal stretch with an anti-gravity effect so that their physical body is receiving, receiving gentle, both mechanical, but also neurological stimulation. In the um, zero gravity, you're all the way back so you're taking all the pressure off the spine and again, we're rolling that spine so we're getting some wonderful um, physical, physical and neurological stimulation. And then we add to that brain tap. And really quickly, the brain tap has the headphones and with that, it's got the audio components that come through the ears. And then it's also got, if you can see that there, the visual component and that's stimulating uh, your nervous system and it has this beautiful effect on calming the nervous system and bringing the body to a state of <sighs> balance the beautiful thing about the audio is it's using some really advanced technology you've got audio coming through this ear that's different and distinct to the audio coming through this ear so you're getting subconscious reprogramming but also um, working on different levels of audio understanding we've got that amazing book that i showed you during the interview with Dr. Porter of all the different audios you can select from. So you can be working with people uh, with anxiety, depression. You can be working with people with health um, and immune weaknesses. You can be working with people when there is not just nervous system hypervigilance, but exhaustion and depletion. You can also be working with people for peak performance and optimizing every aspect of their brain, their nervous system, so that they can experience the health, the well-being, and actually the levels of peak performance that are so integral to living life fully and, and completely expressing the innate intelligence and power of your body. So what we do, we know some of the audios that we use, the ones that are specific to the outcomes we want for the patient, we know the length of them. And so we select on the device the right length of time for that. And then we put these on them and 
By the way, this syncs to a device that we have over there. So we simply um, sync to our, in our iPad and then we sit there and go, great, play this with the sync. It automatically directs all the audio and the visual elements of that onto this device. We then hit the button, the people lie down upside down, uh, not upside down, so pretty in zero gravity position while they're getting the stimulation through the eyes, through the ears of the audio visual component of the brain tap and we're supporting their nervous system. Then what we do in addition to that obviously is we utilize the CLA, the, the Chiropractic Leadership Alliance technology of Insight Scanner. So we will check their HRV, their heart rate variability to before and after has been shown to create great results. We can get immediate results on a person's sympathetic dominance straight after the use of the, the brain tap and in combination with the chair. So we can do a HRV beforehand, find out that they're sympathetic and dominant, train with this on in their nervous system, see that immediate response of dim diminishing that sympathetic dominance. So we're bringing them into a more of a parasympathetic state. So they've got that immediate evidence of, wow, things are working well, changes are taking place. They, they really see and feel the benefits of, of what we're doing. So we can, we can do that without the chair. We can do that obviously in consultations, um, in, in other areas of the practice if needs be. And obviously, you know, you can always, um, you know, make that make these devices accessible to people so that people with chronic issues may be able to take this home and use them on a more regular basis. And you know, what one thing I loved about what Dr. Porter said was you can make it like a health spa, but a neurologically based health spa to restore integrity to both the spine and the nervous system so that the expression and potential of health is expressed more fully and completely. And again, I love those words spine and nervous system and that's my reasoning for creating a specific massage effect a stretch effect with the spine to get the the biomechanical or the spinal interference removed in addition to the adjustments that we deliver plus the neural expression and we get great impact from the audio visual effect of this so that's how i use it here in my practice in in one of its iterations and there's so many ways in which you can do that and again you need to know the background and history of the person you're dealing with and then you choose the program that you use uh, by developing you know, knowledge about this expertise about this understanding about this and then you integrate it within the scope of your care plan and gee miracles are possible incredible things happen and you know we move people in the direction of both a brain-based understanding but also a brain-based healing and therefore a greater expression of health and life so i'm going to give myself one of those sessions now because this is amazing all right so i'm going to see you in another interview soon.